Oh boy. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. You know, just like this lesson is getting ready to go into right here, man. Mm -mm -mm. And a healthy shallow warm to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. What? Doing the work in truth and sincerity and walking circumspectly as wise, not as fools. You see, the, uh, you know, I, I, I got to say it and I'm going to say it just like this. The men at Great Millstone are a whole different breed. You know, and I hate to say breed like that, but the scripture does talk about pedigree. All right. We a whole different pedigree. We a whole different. Uh, 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 we are very uh, we, we are spiritual uh, Israelites, Re uh, you know, really spiritual, not carnal at all. And I'm going to read this and I'm going to play, play you a couple clips. You know, one you saw damn near two years ago and another one that the elder Manat Zakbar just put up. They, it just, it's, it's all the same thing. All these devils are the same. OK, that's why we got to walk circumspectly. Wisdom of Solomon. Five and verse one, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. Verse two, when they see it, when they see what? When they see Yahweh Shai coming in the clouds, man, they're going to be troubled with terrible fear. They're going to remember all this bullshit they did upon this earth. They're going to remember. He's going to put all things in everybody's remembrance. Okay. When they see it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Verse three, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this is he whom we have sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Now, every now and then, sometimes, you know, you, uh, you know, you brothers, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You put, uh, you put up, uh, not not spells, but curses on these people that do the, that do things to you. And you, how about if you, here's, a, here's a testimony of my own testimony. I'm going to tell you this before I play you these two clips. OK. There's been many people in my life, even before I was in the truth, that crossed me and did me wrong. And I didn't put no curses on them. You know, there was this one guy that I had done some I had done some work for and he, he didn't he didn't pay me my damn money, you know. I didn't know I didn't put no curses on him, but he had a damn and he was an Edomite, right? He had a heart attack a week later and died. There's another guy that uh, uh, that uh, that told me he's an older gentleman, older guy that told me that uh, that he, he pulled a Ron DeSantis. <laughs> right. He said he said, well, the slaves are better off in slavery. He, he told me that well, the slaves are better off in slavery. And that, and that vexed me. It really pissed me off. You know, about a year later after that, see, how about some y'all shy? It's cold like that. Didn't he say, I kill and I make a life? Okay. Anyway, about a year later, he's looking for one of his, uh, one of his cattle and he drives off the side of a damn cliff and dies uh, 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 upside down in his truck in a river. Yeah, how about some y'all shy? ain't playing. He ain't playing with the two thirds and he damn sure ain't playing with these devils. Verse three, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. You see, the devil walking to earth as Esau eat him. That's the devil the Bible speaks of. He walking to earth every day seeking whom he may devour. That's why we got to stay, uh, uh, um, you know, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, right? Here, let's... There you do.
Kadar goes in the uh, dark skin. That's why we look up words. See that? That's why we look up words, and these people just keep coming by and passing by. This is Arrows of Indignation, 144. All right? Joel 3 and verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold into the Grecians. Who did that? So called Africans, Hamites, sold who? Israelites. To who? The Grecians. Who are who? Esau eat them. See that? They got sold to the Grecians. Uh, What's this all about? It's a frame. You're filming this, right? Yeah, what, what, what you doing? I just found it. I thought maybe you can. Yeah, man, don't walk up behind me camera. like that, man. Uh, if you don't I mind. It's a public area. Where's your camera point? Yeah, I know it's a public area, but if, you know, if, if you. Yeah, let, I'll just put this down. Like all right, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. It's like a, a frame. Right. No, I appreciate it. But you're doing it live, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, you, yeah, you are, you're good. All right, yeah, don't walk up on me, man. Common eyes being sent over from, uh, from Africa over here. Say what? These pictures of the slave trade. Yeah, yeah, that's a, those are the Israelites. Israelites, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, let's get back to the lesson. Joel 3 and verse 6. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? You walk up in the church and disturb the preacher. Uh -huh. Do you do that? No, I thought you were wearing an app shirt, but that's just no, like a No, no, man, no, no. No, the, the Nikolai is real. What are these here? Arrows of indignation. Joel 3 and verse 6. Don't hey, put your, get your hands off my stuff, man. I thought it was a public. Man, question. what's wrong with you? I just want to read and learn. Man, to can, learn about hey, religion. you can kick rocks. Get off the street, man. Excuse me, you, I, I'll kick a rock. Yeah. See, I'm on a stone I mean, here. Yes, it's, it's a stone. Look at these, it, these people are finished, man. This guy is Spirit, bitch, get the hell, you, not yell at Back me, up. Sir. Back, back. You suck. Hey. Hey, can you fucking post it? It's 12 drops, man. Look, 12 drops. You have All right. All right. See, there you have it right there. Those are, uh, those are two, uh, uh, two examples on how to walk, you know, and how to handle these situations. That's that. There's two prime examples right there. And there's many examples of, of brothers, of, of great millstone brothers that handle these things the way that it's supposed to be handled. You know, not getting carnal. Not this, not that. Hey, and if it's time to if it's time to wrap it up, it's time to wrap it up. If it's time to move, it's time to move. We are here to feed the sheep, not get carnal. Look at these other camps. Hell, they fighting each other. Jeremiah 51 and verse 21. We're gonna read this first. Because, hey, because this is what Yahabashim Yahashai said, right? You know, it can't it can't upset you, it can't piss you off, but you know what? That's getting all up in your feelings. There's no reason to get all up in your feelings. We understand why these devils do the uh, do these type of things. You know why? Because they are the devil the Bible speaks of. If you understand the scriptures, you you know that's gonna happen. You uh, you understand that these uh, that they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, that speaketh of rightly. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And right now, the, the, the weapon that's cutting everybody's ass asunder is the Bible. The 100% truth spoken first and foremost from, from the apostles and the elders and, and the prophets and the teachers all the way on down. That's what's cutting their ass up. That's why these spirits, these spirits come out. If you, you brothers that or that are on the highways and byways, you already know, you see it. It's happened to each and every one of you, and I know it. These spirits come out. Why? Because they really, they really hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because they're, hey, oh boy. Yeah, it can, it can upset you. But that's all right. You know, hey, hold it down. Hold it down. <laughs> yeah, that devil said, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna knock your camera over. See that, and and, and uh, that other devil, he was slicker. He was so slick. He then he kicked my camera over right quick, and then stole my son and ran off. Twelve tribes of Israel, twelve tribes of Israel, and and, and here's another testimony. Uh, I believe, well, I'm about eighty percent sure that uh, they found that guy that kicked my camera over and stole my son. They found him dead. They, how about him, y'all? Shot. I'm I'm about eighty percent sure it was him. They found him dead in the damn woods, decaying. A stinking ass carcass. Call hello, you how about shimmy how shy. You when you and when you Edomites, when you Edomites come in, we're gonna come in like a flood and start 
to uh, uh, start to tr uh, try to put your hands on his little ones, that's a problem. He ain't going to take kindly to that. You understand that? Jeremiah 51 verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I, will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces young man and the maid. And you, you saw that, man. He spilled his, he spilled his cup all over, the, uh, all over the brother. You know? I, I forget what his name is. Salakia. He spilled, he spilled that all over him. You know, it, it takes a true man of the Lord. It takes, it takes him, uh, it takes a whole lot of wisdom to not, you know, a, <laughs> woo -wee. takes a whole lot of wisdom, you know, and a whole lot of patience. And then your patience, uh, 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 uh keep ye your souls. Mm hmm. Wait ye upon me till he comes, man. We, we are not to avenge ourselves. You know, I just quoted a bunch of scriptures right there. I should be just bringing them out instead of quoting them. Psalms 2 and verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Why? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh, <clears throat> and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. He's going to turn all that shit right back around on you, on you uh, devils, you demons. All you nations. Even the, the house of Israel, two-thirds. You know? Judgment shall begin at the house, and I can't wait. Yahweh about to Zah, I'm a part of that number. Oh, yeah. This gets me turned all the way up. Let's go. Let's keep pushing. And again, I'm going to reiterate. The men at Great Millstone don't get carnal like that. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Okay? So you call us what you want to call us. In the meantime, you got whole camps talking about, we know cowards. We know cowards. But don't, but, uh, but don't be wise. Don't use wisdom. What the hell? What kind of, what kind of a, a message is that for the sheep? What the hell are you feeding them? You see? Come on, man. You got a whole nother camp. The, uh, the people keep pulling out uh, a, a, a milli. You know, a milli, a milli, a milli. You know what I'm talking about. All kinds of gauges. Huh? This is, this is, this is vexation. But that's all right. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. And it's going to be a simple, quick, straight to the point, And hopefully it's edifying. Amos 5 verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. You see? For so much, therefore, oh boy, as your treading is upon the poor, and, and yet take, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Salakia, I'm excited. I'm a little pissed off. You know, it just brought back some memories. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to remember all that. He's going to stir up our pure minds. He already has. And yet take from him burdens of wheat, Yet have built houses in hewn of hewn stone, right? A, a, a sure foundation, but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted uh, pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. We, we gotta wait. We gotta wait, man. We can't. We cannot avenge. It said, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves." See, that's that face, faith. That's that. I said face, Salakia. <laughs> that's that measure. A faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has given to us. You know how many, I mean, niggas in the world would have just, uh, you know, blinked out on him. You know, straight up. The niggas in the, uh, psh, hey, before I was in the truth, I'd have had, I'd have had him rolled up like a taco, man. Real quick. You see? But then, you know where I also be? Somewhere uh, uh, locked up, as the scripture said. You see? Matthew 18 and verse 6, red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking. But who sell? Whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me. You see that? What? That that what? That believe in Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah and his names. And no. You see? It were better for him 
that he had a millstone that he that a millstone were hang about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. It would have been better for his ass to, ha to have a damn millstone around his neck than to mess with one of these little ones. One of his children. You brothers that have children, you know how you feel about your children. The scripture said, uh, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's get it. Uh-huh. All right. Shalakia. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart, which is your mind, to be happy. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. See that? And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Yep. They're enemies. But we will continue. You know, those that have that true faith, have the 100% truth. And have no spirit of fear, fear. So I said, feel, <laughs> and, and walk in circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the uh, with the days because uh, the, the time because the days are evil, man. What are they gonna be doing? They are gonna be doing this right here. Let's read it in Romans twelve and verse one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies. It's a mercy. It's a mercy period. It's a grace period. He's given us mercy. By way of, of uh, uh, lending to us the understanding after three days and a half, right? Hmm. You see? And that's, and that's when the true prophets started coming on the scene. The elders the, uh, of the apostles. This is absolutely beautiful. You can't tell me this is not of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, Unto the most high power, which is your reasonable service. And ye that have little faith, you won't get your ass out there and teach. You know why? Because you have little faith. What the hell you got to be afraid of? They already killing your ass in the street. You know? He gonna come in like a flood anyway. He gonna come in the middle of the night, bust down the door, tell him, get on the ground. You know? FEMA camps, everything, man. Oh, verse two, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High Yahweh. See, oh, oh, verse three, for I say through the grace given unto me that every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to but to think soberly according to the Most High Yahweh, like power. Our power hmm, have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Okay? And that's it's true love. It's true love going out there, making your body a living sacrifice. First and foremost, to Yahweh, for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, then for your own self, seek ye out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And if you were afraid, truly afraid of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you would go and teach and preach. You know, I know, hey, it's, it's all the measure of faith. Like I just read, I understand that. Some are not teachers, some are not preachers. I get it. But if you can do something, do something. Do something. You know, hey, it's, it's, it's not enough. To, to, I keep the commandments and I wear fringes. And you know, hey, faith without works is dead, man. man I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm, I'm turned the hell up. Matthew 10 and verse 16, red letters again. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. See, wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Apostle Gabar goes into that. A serpent is very wise. But you be harmless as a dove. Use the word. Rightfully divide the word with the word, and none of your enemies will be able to gainsay nor resist. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Very, very good example on how to conduct yourself. You know? It, 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 it has nothing to do with uh, 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 our macho man bullshit. Okay? 
You see, you uh, you will you will know them by their fruits. That's all I have on that. Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwame Yasharala Wa, a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.